course, they'll see uh, Luka Jovic head on a rest-of-season loan back to Eintracht Frankfurt. Jules, this after the club paid 60 million euros for him. In honor of Luka Jovic, we had you uh, build your worst Real Madrid transfers uh, of all time. Where does Jovic fit into this list? <laughs> well, it's quite high rev because, you know, it, it might not all be his fault and his responsibility and there might be a few factors why he flopped so, so much at Real Madrid, but, but he's ha he has to be right up there with the Jonathan Woodgate, with the Julien Faubert, with the Royce Tondrente. I mean, I picked, I picked five first and then, and then we decided to go to 10. I could have gone to 15 easily. There's some on the list that are more known to th than others. Uh, but, but he has to be there and it's a shame because he was so good with Frankfurt when they had that really good season in the league and in the Europa League before the move. He was wanted by loads of clubs, he decided to go to Real Madrid and, and I think in many ways we all saw, okay, this is a different profile to Karim Benzema, this, this can work. And again, whether it's on him, a bit on Zidane, a bit on the, the club, the environment, the expectation, the pressure, I'm not sure why, but what's for sure is that he was a big flop, yeah. Ale, no uh, Hazard, no James, no Kaká on Jules' list. Did, uh, did he miss anybody else? How about so Manelka? He wasn't great for Real Madrid. Wow, and here's another name on. of a player, <laughs> who's still, a player who's still around, and that is Danilo. Danilo, who continues to go on big team after big team after big team, and it's Real Madrid, and it's Manchester City, and it's Juventus. And you're thinking, boy, I'd like to be his agent. Because this guy is selling smoke. This guy, whatever he's selling, they're buying. In terms of Anelka, a disappointment. And in terms of Kaká, I think you, you say the biggest, perhaps, uh, transfer bust because of the expectation that there was of Kaká coming to Real Madrid and what he had been with Milan, the best player in the world. Never, never, because of injuries and other circumstances, never, nowhere near that with Real Madrid. I got to say, Jules, I was surprised you left Kaká off that list. I know, I know, I know. I, to be fair, I did, I did think about long. Same with James and same with Anelka. I mean, I feel Anelka in, in many ways won you that, that Champions League. And, and just for that, he doesn't deserve to be on that list. James had well, especially one amazing season where him and Cristiano were just outstanding together. One of the most lethal partnership in Europe that year. And for Kaká... Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's a good case for him to be on that list, although those are really, I mean, they were really terrible. Kaká had his moments with Real Madrid and the Real Madrid shirt, but you're right, the expectations were so high for what he brought. The difference is quite big, and, and maybe just for that, he could have been on, on, on that list. Jules, uh, on today's performance alone, why isn't Eden Hazard on that list? <laughs> because, and again, we discussed that before the show, I, I, okay, I understand everything. And I, I'm a bit biased because I, I like the guy and, a lot and, and I know him and, and he's, a, he's a great guy. And I think I really believe he's an incredible talent. However, it's not his fault if he has spent 80% of his time at Real Madrid injured. That's not, Hazard, that's not his fault. And I think it's really harsh and hard to judge someone, especially in, in that matter of like big flops and big failures. And, and, and players who, who were terrible for the club when he spent most of the time injured when it was not his fault. So that's why he's not on there. If he comes back and plays injury-free for, for a whole year and he's more like we saw today or like against Osasuna, then OK, we can talk again. But right now, after all that, inj all that injured time, I think it's really unfair to put him on that list. Ale, what do you think about Just a uh, reminder. Jules taking care of his buddy Eden? Yeah, just, yeah well, just a <laughs> reminder. This injury situation from Eden Hazard that Julian says is not his fault started with him coming to Real Madrid out of shape. It came with him coming to Real Madrid with his body not taken care of. So the foundation was never there for Eden Hazard to be fully fit. And that's on him, on the professional, on the guy that's supposed to go on this big transfer. The first moment you show up there, you show up flying because that's what is expected of you. He wasn't fit to begin with, and then everything has followed. But those cracks in the foundation, they came from Eden Hazard. They didn't come from anybody else. Jules, last word. But at Chelsea, it was the same for every summer at Chelsea, and he never got the, the degree of injury that he got at Real Madrid. And by the way, the big injury is Thomas Meunier against PSG, 
who, who almost broke his ankle. That's not, that's not his fault or if he had too many chips in the summer when he was back home in Belgium. Hi, okay. Jim. All right. So are, are you telling me, Julian, that if, and this is, this is simply from experience, when you come into camp and you're ready to go and your body's ready, you trust yourself to be able to do your job. Ahead of that injury that you just mentioned, it's not like Ian Hazard was fine. It's not like he was playing great. It's not like he wasn't heavily criticized. He was already on the wrong path. And that's my point. You go to Real Madrid, you get on the right path. You have to do that from the very beginning. If you go down the wrong path and then everything happens afterwards, it's something that you brought on yourself. Yes, there's been some misfortune, but he started on the wrong path and that's on him. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.